Welcome back, fellow reefers, to once again another reefing video. We are talking about my story, my journey into reef keeping. Now, if you have not seen part one, I provided you with a card to get to that video right now at the top of the screen. So let's get started right now with part two, the rebuilding process. My name is Sean and this is Pittsburgh Reef Junkie, where we take reefing one day at a time. Now I'm not going to give a breakdown of all the equipment piece by piece. I can do that in future videos. So sit back and enjoy all the upcoming photos. First off, you can see after the demolition when we pulled the tank out of the wall, it was a complete mess. First thing we had to do was start mounting all the studs for the drywall to be hung on the old cinder block foundation. We started all the drywall work and as you can see, the old workbench, while still strong, needed a lot of TLC. In the process, we inspected the old tank stand and decided while we were doing everything else, this needed to come down and be replaced. While we had the tank off of the stand and we had easy access to it, I felt now was the time to reseal it. We cleaned it out, taped it off, and went to work. Here you can see the seal after it was cured. If you end up wanting to try this, make sure you have two to three people doing it with you and have a plan ready because the silicone starts to cure really fast. At this point, we really needed to get the stand finished so we can get the aquarium up off of the floor. There was still so much cleaning to do and it was taking up a lot of room, which we needed to work. We constructed the stand out of two by fours and lag bolted all the connections with stainless steel brackets. The main leg supports were constructed from 4x4s and the corners were tied in as well using 2x4s. Overkill I'm sure, but we wanted to do this right. We put all the front facing and installed the steps. Why steps you may be asking yourself? Well at the top of the tank sits a 6 foot and the last bill was tough to get in and out of. This feature was well worth the time to put on as we use it constantly. Progress was moving along and we extended the workbench to accommodate the frag tank sitting on the workbench. The idea for the frag tank? So we have a quick and easy solution to quarantine new coral frags. Plus when not in use, it can be taken to frag shows to hold any frags that we need to sell from our main display. We stained the workbench with a nice gray-blue stain. We tried to get a beachy fill to the room. We also, as you can see, have the hole cut off and a new sink to be put into place after the top was finished. Right about now was a point I was really starting to get impatient. I could not wait to get the tank filled up and running. We used a polyacrylic finish on the top after it was stained and installed the sink. We installed all of the electrical outlets and I wanted them up higher near the ceiling to keep any chance of water from getting near it with any splashing. We also mounted them externally just in case we ever wanted to add more or change things up. Now I was getting close and I was really getting excited. We plumbed the tank to the sump and plumbed the return back to the tank. We then started laying out the new rock structure inside the aquarium. Now I started the rock structure over a year ago and it was kind of tough to do because I had to make sure none of the structures were more than 14 inches tall or I would not be able to fit them in the aquarium with only having 14 inches clearance to the ceiling from the tank. Last but not least, it was finally time to add water. We raised the temperature to where it needed to be, then we added salt. The bill still has a long way to go yet considering we need to finish the shelves and the doors on the front of the workbench. We can't forget about the flooring as well, but with anything in this hobby, it will come in time. Maybe you will get some ideas from this video to use in your next build. Let us know in the comments if the video is better done in the other side of the, where the game room is, or the equipment side. There's a lot more noise on this side of the room, but what would you rather see? Click on this video to take you <clears throat> where we are currently since the reef tank has been up and running for the past four months. So until then, we'll see you on the next one.